When considering the battles Israel faces, most think of Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas. But hummus? The beanie dip has caused quite a stir, and news of the rivalry has even spread to Hollywood. Tonight, a hummus cook-off will raise funds for a film that aims to document both countries' quest to win ultimate hummus bragging and trade rights. The rivalry last made headlines in January 2010, when Israel won the Guinness title for the world's largest plate of hummus, only to be creamed four months later by Lebanon, who weighed in with a whopping 11.5 ton serving, doubling the previous record. Some, like filmmaker Avital Levy, say the competition is an opportunity for Middle Easterners to unite over their shared culinary culture. I see hope in hummus, not war. All proceeds of the evening's hummus tasting fundraiser will go toward the financing of her documentary, Hummus Wars. Crowds turned out to taste both the Arab and Israeli recipes, and professional food critics judged the cook-off. Never mind Israel and Lebanon, an Egyptian won tonight's cook-off, and an international falafel day has been set for June 12th in another attempt to bring Middle East peace and dialogue through chickpeas. But although the mood here is light... My mother put hummus in my bottle when I was a baby, okay? Uh, she make for my birthday, she make a kebab cake and she put the hummus frosting. The feud has a more sinister side. In 2008, the feud intensified when the Association of Lebanese Industrialists claimed national ownership of the food and attempted to file an international lawsuit against Israel for allegedly stealing the dish and falsely marketing it as Israeli. They hope to win Lebanon exclusive rights to the word hummus and the multi-million dollar industry that comes with it. And just in the way that, you know, champagne is only from Champagne and Parmesan is from Parmigiana, you know, there is a real uh, cultural battle going on. Israel is one of the biggest manufacturers of hummus, so I think the Lebanese recognize that and want to do whatever they can to prevent Israel from succeeding. They're the ones that sponsor the record-breaking, the government, and in Israel it's private. Some say hummus was mentioned in the Old Testament in Ruth 2.14, and that since 55% of Israelis trace their backgrounds to Muslim and Arab countries, they too have ownership over the food. But most agree that hummus, like falafel, baba ganoush, and tabbouli, other dishes Lebanon hopes to lay claim to, belong to the region and cannot be claimed by any one country. It's not as much Israel. What about Egypt? What about Syria? What about other countries? The lawsuit has yet to go anywhere because since Israel and Lebanon are officially in a state of war, the Lebanese plaintiffs were unable to determine where to file the lawsuit. One thing no one is arguing over, who can make the smallest hummus dish? That Guinness record belongs to Israel. Experts at miniaturization as seen in technology, Israel's 39 millimeter hummus plate came complete with garnishes and olive oil. Although it seems unlikely that this issue will peter out anytime soon, for tonight at least, passion for hummus has brought people together to give chickpeas a chance. For JN1 in Los Angeles, I'm Lara Berman.